What's good, everybody? It's Friday. It's past 2 p.m., so it's time for your favorite college radio show. I go by TF, and for right now, you are listening to The Vibe, where I'm bringing you some of the best R&B, classic soul, as well as reggae and dance hall. And today, we have a special guest in the building. We got Lucky Sticks in the studio today. He's going to do a live interview with us, as well as a live performance of his new single, so you definitely don't want to miss that. All of that is coming up all in the next two hours, so make sure you stay tuned in. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in. Right now, we're going to jump back into some music. Here's Barris Hammond. This is The Vibe. What's going on, everybody? We are back. That was Trenchtown Rock by the one, the only, Bob Marley. And we got Lucky Sticks in the studio. What's going on, man? Yes, yes, yes. What's happening? So, of course, as I told you guys in the intro to the show, Lucky Sticks bought us a new single today. Uh, tell us about this new single. This single, this single is called Love You From A Distance. Um, it's a new single I just wrote. It's an R&B style. Um, I'm currently kind of working on a compilation to put it on a EP. I'm going to call the EP Everyday Battle, so look out for that. Cool. Um, just for the, uh, some of the listeners who are, this is their first taste of the Lucky Stick Sound, tell them about yourself, you know, where you're from, and uh, some of your influences in music. Well, I was born in Canada, uh, specifically Hamilton, Ontario. But I rep the whole GTA, rep Canada, rep everything. Um, my parents are from... Trinidad. My mom's from Trinidad. My dad's from Jamaica. So I have that Caribbean root going in there as well. So my music is basically a reflection of all of that. Um, mixing from stuff that I grew up on, uh, from gospel to R&B to the whole Caribbean vibe. So you're going to hear a lot of that within my music. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, let's talk about some of the uh... Some of your, you know, performances, maybe not just around campus, but uh, any performances that stick out to you, whether it was just uh, the the height of that performance or just the vibes you got from the performance or anything like that. Yeah, um, I'd say my biggest performance was performing for Harry Belafonte um, last year. That, that's probably like the biggest thing on my resume at the moment. I'm looking forward to a lot more stuff going on um, with original stuff now that I'm writing music and, and kind of putting my music out there. So there's definitely going to be a lot more coming. But yeah, to date, the biggest thing right now has been that Herbal Avante thing. I've had the opportunity to do some stuff um, for a brand night. So That's awesome. I remember that show. That was a good, that was a good show. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to jump back into some music for a little bit. But before the show is over, we will not only show you the uh, studio version of your new single, but we're going to play it live right here in the studio with your band. So you guys definitely do not want to miss that. But let's jump back into some music for a little bit. This is The Vibe. Keep it tuned in. What's going on, guys? We are back. That was Come Over by Estelle featuring Sean Paul. And like I said, we still got Lucky Sticks in the studio. Yo, yo, yo. So uh, let's talk about uh, this song that we're going to hear today. Uh, how did this song come to be? This song, um, it, it has, I guess it has kind of multiple meanings. It's called Love You From A Distance, but it's not necessarily about loving somebody from a distance or in a long-term or a long-distance relationship. It, I actually kind of started it, um, the writing process was thinking about, you know, you see people on a daily basis where you're like, oh man, that person is definitely somebody that I love to be with. Um, just based off of their appearance. You don't even know yeah, who yeah. they are yet, right? Uh -huh. But you see them and you're just like, yeah, they're, they're perfect. They're my fantasy. They're yeah. my fantasy <laughs> girl. And sometimes when you go get to know that person, you realize that that person is actually not the person that you should be with, but they're just kind of nice on the eyes. So <laughs> instead of um, engaging and, and kind of going the, the full length, I wrote a song, I'll just love you from a distance instead, mm -hmm. right? So like the first line goes, nice eyes, nice smile, wonderfully, perfectly made. You're beautiful, mm -hmm. intelligent. I just want to ask your name. But I know you're not the one, yeah. so I gotta fight this temptation. So basically, it was it was a twist on, you know. I see you, you look nice on the eyes, but I know you're not the one for me. So I'm just gonna love you from a distance instead. Yeah, that, that's such a relevant topic. I'm sure there's people out there who can definitely relate. To, I'm sure it's happened to almost everybody, you know. Yeah, man. So um, I know you before I knew you as a vocalist. I knew you as a steel pan player. Yeah, everybody knows me as a steel pan player. I think this is my debut as a vocalist to the world right now. So, hey, so we're doing it right here on The Burn. <laughs> see, I'm bring, this two weeks in a row, I'm bringing you guys debuts. You don't understand. You see that? We're working hard out here. <laughs> but um, what made you, not necessarily a transition, but what made you want to, uh, I guess, uh, make your, uh, your brand and your artistry not just steel pan, but as a vocalist, what made you want to make that decision? To well, I get expand? to express myself different when I when I'm doing vocals things, right? Mm -hmm. With the steel pan, it's nice. I could express myself in a different type of way, but when I'm starting to write songs and I'm actually singing these songs, 
there's actually words that people can kind of meditate on. So it's a different expression. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to capitalize on that, that I could do both, right? I, right. I, I never like to put myself in a box. So I might not be, you know, the best singer out there right now or your favorite singer, but I have a message and I have something to say. So uh -huh. I think that's that's the most important thing. And I still collaborate the steel pan and everything else into my sound and into my shows and into everything that I do. So it's just about blending, kind of have a, a hybrid type of thing where I'm, I'm an instrumentalist, but at the same time, I'm a vocalist. So I'm coming to you with that, that approach. I, I feel it. I always ask this question when I bring people in. If there was a, one artist or group that you could uh, either collaborate with or tour with or share the stage with, whether it was just one time, who would that person be? It could be any genre or you could pick, let's do it, maybe your top three or top five just so top we don't are they, box it in they're still alive or like uh no what? they don't have to be don't have just in a perfect okay, world so i love stevie wonder first of all mm -hmm. um stevie wonder is the man um i'm a few huge fan of um michael too um i think performance wise nobody could touch michael absolutely and let me pick a, a modern guy that's kind of doing his thing right now that i really respect bruno mars i i think he's he's really hot in the game right now and i like the way that he just kind of presents himself and does mm -hmm. his shows and does his music. So, yeah, let's let's use those people as my th top three right now. That's good company. Yeah, man. I mean, you pick uh, not necessarily past, present, future, but you know they all had their their heyday in their certain era. Yeah, man. Hey, I can respect it. But uh, we're gonna let you get set up in the studio here in a little bit, guys. Make sure you stay tuned because we have a very very special live studio performance of Lucky Six brand new single, "Love You from a Distance." And also, we're going to play you the studio version later on in the show, so you definitely don't want to miss that. But we're going to jump back into this music for a little bit and let Lucky Sticks get set up in the studio. Yes, so yes. please, please, please keep it locked right here. This is the vibe. What's going on, everybody? We've come to the end of the show, but uh, I wanted Lucky Sticks to come back and give you guys his social media information if you want to get in contact with him or listen to any more of his music. So go ahead. Yeah, man. So just follow me um, at Lucky Sticks for everything for Instagram, for Twitter, for Facebook. That's Lucky Sticks, L U C K Y S T I C K Z. Shout out to my family. Shout out to everybody out in Hamilton, uh, to the Berkeley community, to my girlfriend Sarah, because I know she's going to be at me, to my sister, to my mom, um, Janelle, Denise. Yo, th thank you so much for everything. Thank you for having me here, Tatum. No uh, problem. Thanks to the band here. I, I have a uh, reggae star, Benil. Sitting right beside me and Jomo, trombone player from Barbados. Benil has a show coming up. Benil, plug your show quick time. All right, so I'm having a show next week, Friday. That's the 17th. You should come through. It's going to be original music and some old school music and some rubber, but rubber dub, you know? We're going to have a nice time. <laughs> you should come through. Bless, 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 bless. So, yeah, find my music. Find Love You From A Distance, my single. It's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. It's on YouTube. It's on everything. SoundCloud. You can find it anywhere. Love You From A Distance or type in Lucky Sticks and you'll find me. And we're going to play it right now to end out the show. Thanks again for listening. Tune in next week. I told you I got Robert Gould coming back in for a live performance, so you definitely don't want to miss that. So uh, thank you for listening, and we'll see you next week. Yeah. yeah.